this competitiveness, competitiveness rank with the players you've played with or against? I mean, is there anybody who competes more than he does? Or harder than he does? There are some people that compete. Um, if it, it just it kind of depends on the scenario, but with him, it's it's in everything all the time, and there's never a, a, a moment taken off of the competitiveness. You know, I play basketball with Xander Wheel, and we get after it. And then you look at like when we play like even be a show against each other, like it gets really really serious. Me and Carson fight in the room pretty much every day. <laughs> uh, but I mean, as far as all the time, 24/7, no matter what's going on, he's, he's got to be number one. What's the most ridiculous example of him being competitive? And you're just like, dude, really? You're competitive over this? Uh, it's, pro it's probably on the field. Because, I mean, off the field, he's pretty laid back until I try and rile him up a little bit. <laughs> but other than that, um, I mean, it's just on the field. It's just, it's, it's special. It really is. Were you one of the only people who knew that he was sick? Or were you trying to keep it secret? Or yeah, well, I mean, some of the guys I've seen knew that were just rounds, but... Okay. Um, I was just trying to do a little bit to take care of him, but yeah. at the end of the day, I mean, I wasn't going to stay in the room. I was going to do whatever I needed to do for him, but I wasn't going to risk getting sick because, you know, I get the least bit sick and then I see, you know, scrape off the floor. So. Do you not handle it as well as, as Carson does? Sickness? No, no. I mean, I, usually, I don't really get sick very often. I'm just yeah. like, really bad luck this year, let's just put it that way. I've had <laughs> terrible luck this year. Yeah. So, but I mean, I don't really get sick, and it, it doesn't affect me either, so. Yeah. When did you find out, actually I'm sure they've already asked you, but that he was sick? I knew last night, okay. right before he went to bed. And right before I went and got all my stuff and moved to a different room so I could sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys all trying to stay away from him in the dugout today? Like, no, you did. Okay. I mean, it gets to that point, it's just like, I might as well. I'm <laughs> right around you, I might as well just hug in, so. <laughs> It, Thanks, it, it, Thanks. Yeah, it's not just the competitiveness, though. It's like he could have let down the team. Like if he would have let this get to him or had a subpar outing, right? Isn't that even more of it that like it would have been his last outing, and he, and he could, and, you know? So you know, just right. talking to him, it's almost like mind over matter. He wasn't going to let this. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those times you want to have your last performance be your best one, and uh, you know this definitely ranks up there with them all. And I think that he was really able to. Just harness in that competitiveness and energy to go out there and pitch and not just throw. But it's also that, you know, like, we had that footage last year when he was getting emotional talking about the team. On, I mean, that's all, that's, that all ties in, right? It's just like, it's just 100%. so important to him. I mean, that's, that's just the kid he is. He takes everything he does very seriously, and he's going to try and be the best at it, which is one of our best friends because we pretty much compete with all those types of things. Um, but yeah, he, I mean, he's not going to let anything slip away from him. He's going to prepare how he needs to prepare and do what he needs to do to be ready for it.